Hello there my friends, I'm Henry Knox, and today I'm going to take you on a journey back in time to the American Revolutionary War era. As a founding father of the United States, I had quite an adventure, and I can't wait to share it with you all. Now picture this. It was the winter of 1775, and the American colonies were fighting for their independence from Great Britain. I was just a young man, but I had a passion for artillery, those enormous cannons. I knew they could make a difference in the war. So I joined the Continental Army and soon became the chief artillery officer for none other than General George Washington himself. We had our fair share of challenges, though. The British had a strong hold on Boston, and we needed to find a way to drive them out. That's when I came up with a bold plan. I heard about some cannons at Fort Ticonderoga, way up in New York. They could be a game-changer for us. But the problem was, they were heavy and had to be transported all the way to Boston, over 300 miles away. It was no easy feat, but I was determined. With the help of my men, we embarked on an epic journey. We braved harsh weather, treacherous terrain, and enemy threats. But we persevered. It was like a race against time. But we finally got those cannons to Boston. And you know what? They made all the difference in the world. In the winter of 1776, we used those cannons to bombard the British forces in Boston. They didn't stand a chance. With their defenses weakened, General Washington and his troops launched a daring attack, and we drove the British out of Boston. It was a major victory for the American cause. But my adventures didn't end there. I continued to serve as Washington's trusted artillery commander throughout the war. I developed new tactics and techniques that greatly improved our artillery's effectiveness in battle. I was proud to be part of the fight for freedom and the birth of a new nation. After the war, I went on to serve my country in various roles, including as Secretary of War under President Washington. I worked hard to establish and strengthen the new nation, helping to shape its early years. I believed in the ideals of freedom and independence, and I'm honored to be considered one of the founding fathers of the United States. So my friends, that's my story. If you'd like to continue your journey learning about other extraordinary historical figures, check out our other videos.